Hello, and thanks for joining me today to learn more about Hip Hip Beret, written by me, Melanie Ellsworth, and illustrated by Morena Forza. This book was inspired by playing around with the phrase hip hip hooray, and eventually I landed on the word beret, and that inspired the story of a beret taking off in the wind and going on an amazing journey. Before you read this book, you might think about whether you've ever lost something important to you. Did you find it again? Or if not, did you create something to help you remember that? So in this book, Bella gets a lovely beret from her grand Pere on her birthday. Here's her birthday party. But the wind whirls it on its way. Bye bye, beret. The beret's first guest is a horse. Hip hip, nay, nay. I hope you'll have fun guessing all the various rhyming words that you're going to find in this story. I bet you can guess a few even before you start reading. And here's a little book secret. I never mentioned a dog when I submitted my manuscript for this story, but the illustrator, Marina Forza, added a dog in. And isn't its sweater adorable? I challenge you to look through the book and see how many times you can find dogs in this book. You might be surprised how many there are. Here's just one example, the dog in the birthday picture. My dog is very pleased that Marina put a dog into the pictures. And here is one more book secret. You can find a few touchable berets, not only on the cover, but inside as well. They're fuzzy, fun to rub, and uh, your cat might like to rub them as well. So be careful where you leave this book lying around. So if this story inspires you to write your own story, wonderful. I hope you do. Maybe you'll choose a familiar phrase and change it just a little bit to make it your own. Or maybe you'll just pick a bunch of your favorite rhyming words and make a story with that. Or perhaps you'll remember something you lost and then found again. I hope you enjoy reading and I hope you also enjoy writing. Thanks for coming today. Bye-bye.